I'm Dr. Shaktosh Shibanji. I present to you a case of recurrent boils in both the axilla. Boils which had been there for almost 12 to 14 years. And the preliminary symptoms in his case is a male aged 40. Preliminary symptoms in his case was recurrent boils in both the axilla. Prior. More on the left side. Pain, better by warmth with white offensive pus, sometimes reddish because of tinge of blood. Even behind the ears, there was thick white offensive pus. He had got a culture done for the pus and it was positive for Escherichia coli. He had a heart block in 2021, angioplasty was done for that. Few more aspects about the case. He had vertigo, words from rising, Easily catching cold, sneezing, runny nose, worse from cold bathing. Constipated with mucus, sometimes bleeding per rectum due to spicy food intake. Profuse sweats, more on the head, white stain. Right leg had a numbness and tingling. While running on the right side. Itching, allergic itching in his hands from fish and eggs sometimes. He's an irritable person with fear of thunderstorm, fear of death, especially cancer. A hot person who likes sweet, bitter. And he has jerks while sleeping, jerks in his extremities while sleeping. He had a history of alcoholism, history of tobacco intake, which he had reduced. That one bowl to the both the axilla, there was hard nodules and boils and there was discharge of pus. Kiro kong poo jas to again? Poo, poo. Kiro. Goro hai phule ya to? Goro 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 poo jas. Kiro kong chilo poo jas? Shada. Gondo thak to. Gondo thak to. Offensive pus, patla na garo? Garo. Thick in many cases. Are you okay? Okay. 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 There was also pus from the right side, more on the left side. He had been to different homeopaths across the years. Silica, calcarea, salt had been prescribed. All suppurative remedies had been prescribed. Patient was getting better, but it was coming back. He has been under my treatment since September end. So it's been three, three and a half months. What did you say about the Komecha? Previously, the pass was every day. Sometimes, in these cases, we have to ask about the frequency of the records. I can't put it in the pass has not been there for the last two, three weeks. Do you think it's not there? Pus has not been there for the last two, three weeks, but there is some degree of hardening in duration of the affected part is there. You see, whenever you come across these suppurative conditions and you have pustular suppurative conditions, pus was coming out, white pus, offensive pus, const constitutional suppurative medicines have been prescribed, silica, calcarea salt, mercury, heparin salt was prescribed, considering better by warm, heparin salt. Silica had been prescribed, patient got better, but it was recurring again and again. And in such cases, my friends, to break the cycle of recurrence in such boils, in such pustular inflammations, forget about the nomenclature of the disease, whatever be the name of the disease, to always think of prescribing staphylococcine. I started in October with staphylococcine 200C, considering recurrent pus, considering recurrent boils with pus, in a case where the patient had had constitutional remedies, well stated medicines have failed, cephalopoxine always helps in such cases. 200C was the choice of potency and you have heard that after the first prescription itself, the pus had reduced and with the last follow up, there has been no recurrence of the pus with cephalopoxine. So wherever you have notes for silica, heparin salt and you prescribe those remedies with great effects, but it's not completely clearing it up do always think of staphylococcine in such cases to help out. So put in your notes, silica, heparin salt, calcarea salt, mercury, whenever those remedies have not helped you in any pustular inflammation which is recurrent and persistent, 
and cephalococcin is a nozode which is prepared from the staphylococcal pus and that will always help to break the recurrence. And one of the interesting things to note is although his culture was positive for Escherichia coli, but you see again staphylococcin can be prescribed even if the organism doesn't match with the um, patient. So although his culture was positive for E. coli, I went ahead with staphylococcin considering the symptom picture, considering that there was recurrence of the pustular inflammation and you see cephalococcin is helping and is on its path to recovery. So start with 200 cell, go gradually higher over time, 1M, 10M, 50M, which will obviously help to completely clear the recurrence. Cephalococcin is a wonderful nozode to be used in pustular inflammation. It can be pustular acne, pustular cases of boils. It can be a recurrent breast abscess, recurrent cases of fistula with pus and cephalococcin will always help to break that cycle. Please make sure you read through Phobister's book on tutorials on homeopathy and you'll find reference about staphylococcin there. Start with 200C, go gradually higher with the progress of time. Thank you very much. Long live Honeyman, long live Honeyman.